Hey guys, this is Mrs. Delgado. I just want to talk to you quickly about warm-ups whenever you're at home playing, okay? So remember, um, kind of a general warm-up is to have your metronome on at 80. You can go to free metronome, Google that, and click on it and put it at 80. When you do it, you know, remember, we start with our breathing in for four. It should be shoulders relaxed. Every part of your body is relaxed. It's kind of like yoga. Remember, you want your body just to just feel super relaxed so you can take in as much air as possible. And then you would do breathe in for two, out for eight, still with the metronome on. After you do that, remember to play your concert F. Concert F for saxophones at octave D, clarinet, open G, F for flute, F for tuba, F for trombone, F for euphonium, okay? Um, and other instruments, trumpet, G, uh, French horns, uh, I believe he makes y'all play a C, I'm not 100% sure with Mr. Carroll. And y'all don't have that for percussion, um, soon F, all that, okay? If you have any questions about your concert F, email me and we'll talk, okay? Um, so after you do your concert F, remember whole note, two half notes, four quarter notes, eight eighth notes, and if triplets, 12 triplets, and 16 sixteenths. If you're like, we haven't done that in my classes with Mr. Carroll or Mr. Brasselton, then you skip that as part of your warm-up, okay? This is kind of a general idea for a warm-up. After you do that, remember long tones. Long tones is your blue book. If you have Mr. Brasselton, you have Sloshberg or Flow Studies or VCIs. Um, with Mr. Carroll and me, not percussion, y'all don't have this warm up. It's number one, number two, 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, and your blue book on page four. Remember, you always start with that really pretty concert F and then you work your way down the blue book, okay? After you do that, remember scales is also part of your warm up. Scales is page 42, 43, 44, and 45 in your blue book, okay? You can use your Cranch Junior High South Zone paper or your McAdams Junior High paper and to practice all 12 of those scales there. Um, if you forget a note, you don't remember position or fingering, use that fingering chart in the beginning of your blue book or your red book or Google flute fingering chart, clarinet fingering chart. I mean, there's so many free resources out there. I'll try to link some onto my teacher website and Google Classroom to help you if you've lost your fingering chart, okay? After you play through scales, then remember chromatic scale. Okay, and scales, no metronome. Okay, it's all about accuracy and tone. Chromatic scale, use that fingering chart, positioning chart, and use that as a reference tool to help you. Okay, so you're gonna start from the lowest note at the top, then build your way all the way up to the top of it, those high notes, and then go down, so meaning backwards. Start here when you go backwards, and then work your way all the way back to the top of that fingering chart, and that should be the lowest note. Okay. Alrighty, so that's part of your warm up after you've done all of that, you're good to go to start your music, okay?